Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another prison episode of Plex MC. Guys, we're back on Plex MC, obviously. And guys, I know, please don't believe me. It's been way too long since my last prison episode. It's been like, I think over three weeks now. I know, I checked the other day and I'm pretty sure my last prison episode was like over three weeks ago. So I'm sorry about that. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded. Honestly, I really don't know why I haven't uploaded prison in like so long. I think it's because the server like revamped a little bit and that kind of threw me off. If you guys didn't know, the server revamped like literally like three weeks ago i think it was august 2nd or something like that it was it was like early august the server did a complete revamp and yeah here we are on plex uh you know everything looks the same but they did add a ton of new features that i will be showing off in this episode and basically just giving you guys an update of where i'm at right now in this stage of the prison and i'm also going to want some future ideas for future prison videos from you guys so make sure to drop down in some comments about what you want to see for this series i'm currently right where we left off i'm currently in c1 uh so basically in the last episode i was also in c1 but like i said the entire server revamped completely so i just worked my way back up here it didn't take long but uh, we're back up to c1 right where we left off and basically i'm going to be showing off a bunch of new features but first of all i want to show you guys my cell it's been a while dude it's been so long so yeah boys right when the server revamped i hopped on so i can make sure i got my my nice good cell right there so you know basically i gathered some some materials i got the twenty thousand dollars I needed and boom we got our cell right here bumpy plays and I, I've made sure to you know hop on every day and refresh the cell just so I could you know keep the cell for this particular video because guys honestly I don't know I don't know the time just has flown by I haven't been focused on prison but hey we're back I'm bringing back the series here we go so yes I'm um, by the way dude by the way look at this look at this I know I'm special guys I have the owner nexus that he signed my cell I feel so accomplished he signed my cell like, like three weeks ago like right when the, the revamp happened and I got my cell, dude, he signed this. And uh, yeah, basically three weeks later, I'm uh, thanking him for it. So thank you, Nexus. I appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, so guys, this is my cell. This is the basic cell layout we've got so far. Basically, I'm not sure if you guys knew this or not, but basically I only had access to the enforcer mine or like up to the enforcer mine in the last or like basically before the revamp happened. But now it's after the revamp, boys. And I was, uh, you know, I was thinking, dude, I should, you know, get some access to the higher... Uh, uh, the, the higher mines, dude, like the higher donator mines, so I can show off those and uh, basically get some pretty gold stuff. So look at this. Oh, wait, no, not that. that, that, that that's the stuff I have. Okay, that, that was so anticlimactic. Look at this. Yeah, I know, dude. We got, uh, like, diamond armor for days, dude. So basically, every, every day, I've been hopping on and reclaiming my cell. I've also been doing slash kit mastermind, slash kit underboss, and slash kit hitman. That's what you get with, like, the, uh, the mastermind, um, um, perk. You have access to all these, uh, all these kits, you get a bunch of good stuff every 24 hours, so I've just been doing that. I've been racking up the gear, dude. We'll be making some nice, precious armor. Like I said, this is all the resources I have uh, collected so far. I haven't been mining too much, but uh, basically everything that I have mined, I basically just sold so I could get some money, and obviously I've ranked up to C1. So I've been putting in a little bit of work, boys, but yeah, I have a ton of stuff here. This is this is what I've been uh, been doing. I haven't been playing that much, uh, obviously, but I've been on for, like I'd say, like three hours total uh, since the revamp. So I have accumulated a, quite a bit of stuff, dude. Honestly, I've gotten a lot of stuff. This, this is just kind of the trashy tools, like for me starting out. And uh, we got some blocks there, and we got some some wood and stuff there. And uh, this is the main chest. We got some voting keys. I want to roll these in today's episode. And once I do that, then I'm going to be showing off like the whole, or, like all the new features. But yeah, boys, I basically haven't like really played this in like a while. Like I, I did most of this work like right when the revamp happened. And then from there on out, I was just kind of just logging in every day. And yeah, I've been also grinding a bunch of zombies as well so basically guys i'm gonna go ahead and start off this video with five voting key rolls so let's go ahead and go to slash spawn here and get going let's see what we get here actually actually i have some pickaxes in my inventory right here these are some pretty special pickaxes that i don't want to show you guys yet so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh edit my way back here real quick and put these away hold on okay we're back at spawn here and guys yeah you might want to stay tuned for uh like the next episode I, I i actually i don't know when i'm going to be showing off the particular pickaxe that i do want to show off it's pretty rare boys i'm not gonna lie so you might want to stay tuned because i got some pretty scrumptious pickaxes waiting for you but anyways enough of that let's go ahead and just roll some voting keys here oh wait uh, i'm uh, what? I, I can't use this? Uh, I, I may not use voting key. 
Uh, 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 I can't. Wait, what? Oh, you have you, you have used your voting key and received 30,000. Oh, okay. Can I, like, see what rewards I get? Okay. So, uh, are the rewards pretty much the same? Oh, okay. So, I think that the chances have actually, uh, increased for these two things. Okay, they actually have some new stuff as well. A hundred million? Oh, dude, can I get that one? That would be sick. Okay. A uh, grass block? Okay. Dude, some of this stuff is actually really cool. Okay, let's, let's just get, uh, roll a few of these. How do I roll them? Oh, okay, I just clicked the chest. I see. Okay, so I've gotten some pretty... Dude, I just keep getting 30,000. Oh, uh, what, what is this? Uh, uh, prot, prot 2? Um, that's not really that good. I have, like, a bunch of Prot 3 armor at home. Well, that, this kind of sucks. I've used four voting keys already. What was that? What, what, what caused me to get that? Was that the, uh, what was this? The Plex... Uh, armor? Oh, the common PvP probably. Yeah, they did they, up, up. What do we get? Just ores? Okay. Uh, that was that was kind of a lame voting key round. It's it's not as fun either. Before the revamp, I thought it was a lot different. I'm pretty sure. Like I haven't played the server in like uh, three weeks or something like that. So I'm pretty sure like before the revamp, you would actually like click the voting key and then it would spin and then it would land on your item that you got. That, that's what I remember it to be. Um, but now it's just kind of like you click it and you instantly get your thing. So I guess I mean we got some kind of cool stuff. I, I I guess the ores were our best thing there. Um, you know, the, the stuff wasn't great, not gonna lie, but hey, we're just gonna keep trying. Uh, I'll be voting every day, so we'll hopefully get some cool stuff uh, in the next episode. Let's just put some of this, uh, where, where do I want to put this? I'll just put this uh, up here for now. And uh, boy, so now I want to show you guys a bunch of the new features that I really do like how they added, like the, they added so many new features with this revamp because that's why they wanted to do the revamp because like they wanted to make the economy much more stable and have a bunch of cool features added to the server. And uh, we have a lot of active players here, boys. Like all as you can see, uh, most of these cells are filled up. The cells around me are filled up, and uh, some cells over there. Dude. Like honestly, like they've been doing a great job of making sure to to keep up the the popularity. And I, dude, that's what makes it great on here. It's just the the nice community. It's all fun around here. And uh, yeah, so now I just want to get into some of the uh, changes that they actually did. My personal favorite here, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with that. Is the ticket shop. I don't know if you guys have seen the ticket shop or not yet, but you guys probably have. If you watch this series, you probably play. Uh, Plex MC and you guys probably will know most of these changes, but I'm a little late to the gameplay over here So we're just I I'm gonna show it off anyway. This is honestly my personal favorite uh, new addition to Plex MC It's much different. Uh, well, it, it actually wasn't actually on like the original Titan MC version But I do like the addition to Plex MC here It's called the ticket shop and basically you can trade in as you can see on the right hand side I have tickets right well I can actually trade those in for like actual in-game ranks that will give me access to better donator mines like you know if I do slash ranks here uh, wait no not slash ranks slash buy I'm dumb okay yeah if I do slash ranks or no slash buy and then click on ranks uh, as you can see we have these you know ranks that actually cost money but the ticket shop allows us to actually be able to purchase these with just actual in-game tickets and not real money so let's go ahead and click on ranks here as you can see we have the same uh, six ranks that we just saw but you know I can like if I had 10,000 tickets, I could buy the hustler rank literally free of charge, but just with tickets. So honestly, if I were just to save up a lot of tickets here, dude, for 200,000 tickets, I could get the mastermind rank, and that would be sick. Honestly, that's a way for like people who like really don't want to spend money on this server. They can just actually just grind up and grind tickets just by mining, and they can literally work their way up to mastermind. And that's what I really like about this is that you can literally get the highest pay to win rank uh, by literally just getting it for free, just by you know grinding your way up to it and that's why it's my personal favorite addition because you know honestly like anyone can literally get mastermind if you literally have the time and dedication to do so so yeah that's honestly my favorite feature if you guys have not checked out the ticket shop make sure to do that we also have some tools that you can actually buy as well so like a smelter's pickaxe is 8,000 tickets we got explosive pickaxe 20,000 bountiful pickaxe 25,000 and a lumberjack axe for 10,000 and uh, actually that, that's a really good deal for a bountiful pickaxe not gonna lie like 25,000 tickets I, that's very doable and this pickaxe is probably the best one out of these items here so I would recommend getting that one for sure but obviously I really can't get that because I only have 2600 tickets so that's a big oof but uh, I'll definitely be saving up for that bountiful pickaxe because I actually don't have one of those yet also one more thing about the pickaxes in the new revamp here basically if I just go ahead and open this uh, like all these pickaxes right here I've done some enchanting off camera and gotten some pretty, ni pretty nice pickaxes as you can see basically all these pickaxes that aren't actually donator pickaxes like a smelter's pickaxe or a explosive pickaxe all these actually do like lose durability as you mine that's another new feature with the revamp so if i go ahead and just use this pickaxe uh, and go to the e-mine here basically if i go ahead and start mining some 
iron here, dude. As you can see, the durability of my pickaxe is going down. And uh, as you can see, I'm not going to get that durability back, dude. Obviously, since I have Unbreaking 3, it's not breaking nearly as fast. But, dude, I won't have this pickaxe forever. So that's, a, a like, a feature that uh, was added with the revamp that I personally do like because you have to, you know, kind of cherish your pickaxes more and you can't just, you know, like, get one maxed out pickaxe and just use that, like, you know, continuously. So I also really do like that change as well. Those are probably the two biggest changes that I uh, saw, like, once I got on and actually, like, looked at the changes of the revamp they also do have some smaller changes though obviously that they have added with the revamp my like one of my favorites is actually slash kit pri oh, I spelled that wrong prisoner slash kit prisoner uh, so basically once you start out you can do that and basically you get a full set of leather some nice stone tools and eight bread right there you actually get all this with slash kit prisoner I think you can access it every 12 hours I believe yeah so every 12 hours you have access to this kit so that's kind of nice for new players I, I actually didn't like know about this uh, kit when I first got on after the revamp so I was kind of struggling to to get some tools going I could have just done slash kit prisoner and boom there we go but uh, obviously now I kind of got some better stuff so I probably won't be needing this stuff so let's go ahead and put this in the uh, in this chest right here along with my other set of prisoner stuff oh okay so I just looked at my notepad right here dude I always have my nice handy dandy notepad with me for these videos because I like to write down and plan out my videos and basically this next change is really big as well so if I go ahead and uh, if I do slime, wait, where do I want to go here? Yeah, let's go ahead and just make our way back here to the animal farm here. And basically, guys, another change, like a significant change that was added to Plex MC is revamped quest, guys. As you you might remember from, you know, the, the previous version of quests, they were kind of more simplistic and weren't up to code. But now, guys, we have the legit, the classic Titan MC exact quest, dude. Like, literally, this is the exact uh, look of the Titan MC quest. So we have David Leatherman here. He wants us to bring him all this leather gear. We can just go ahead and click confirm. Obviously, I could just, you know, kill some cows and get some leather and do that quest, but I'm not in the mood to do that. I just kind of wanted to show off the revamped quests, and uh, that applies to every single quest now. All the quests are working uh, like they should be. So if I make my way over to this, uh, what's this guy's name? I forget. Oh, yeah, Timberland. Hello, Timberland. How are you, dude? As you can see, he wants us to bring him one iron axe. All the quests are looking like this. They have the same exact layout. I really I do like the new quests because they look literally exactly like the old Titan MC quest. And uh, yeah, oh, one other thing to mention with the new revamp, all the wood farms are now working. It's not just the E farm. So you can go to the D ward, the C ward, the B ward, the A ward, all those wood mines do work now. So we don't have to go here for wood all the time now. And another cool thing that they have added with all this is actually prestige mines. Like these have not been a thing ever, but with prestige mines, this only applies to uh, every five times you prestige. So obviously I haven't prestiged yet because I don't you know play enough and I don't grind that much but once you get to your first five prestige or like your your first five prestiges you actually get access to the prestige five mine so if I go ahead and do slash prestige uh, five. Oh wait no slash warp prestige five basically it says I don't have permission to use that warp and that's because it takes me to that uh, prestige five mine which you only unlock once you hit prestige five and that same concept applies to once you hit prestige 10 prestige 15 prestige 20 and I think that goes all the way up to 25 for the time being but they're working on adding like a prestige like 50 mine or something like that so I don't know they have a lot of changes going on right now with those prestige mines but yeah like every five prestiges you unlock a new mine and I'm sure those have like really good like resources that you get to mine which would obviously help you because you know like the regular e mine you know prestiging every time uh, going back to that would not be fun so you can just do slash prestige 5 prestige 10 or whatever and you would have access to even better resources so yeah I do like the whole concept of the prestige mines and also guys if I do slash XP the whole slash XP layout looks a lot different than it previously did before the revamp obviously you know we got some some zombie grinders and you can actually sell your rotten flesh now for one dollar a piece so if you have you know stacks of rotten flesh you might as well just sell them and uh, you, you, oh wait oh yeah 16 rotten flesh for $16 so that's cool you can sell it pretty quickly and uh, yeah I, I do like these uh, these um, these grinders I can get levels pretty quickly this way this is how I got all my uh, enchanted diamond pickaxes because I just grinded up a few uh, zombies here and boom 
uh, just gain some levels and then they'll eventually fall down I think yep there's there's one coming there we go and they just fall I get to kill them nice easy peasy lemon squeezy and yeah so I do like that addition as well they did so many changes with the revamp that I really do like they have a new enchantment system oh what, what's this dude oh uh oh these are pretty bad okay well uh, I don't think I'll be wanting these to be honest so let's go ahead and just uh jump those out real quick but yeah as you can see the enchantment room is a bit different you can actually buy lapis now and I'm sure you guys have known about all these changes for a while now I'm just kind of showcasing them because you know this is my first time back and I kind of have to refresh myself uh, with the whole server before I can actually you know get into the actual gameplay but nonetheless I hope you guys do enjoy the fact that I am bringing back this series it's been a while since I've recorded one of these and I want to bring it back because it is fun to play on this server it's so chill it's fun I get to interact with these awesome players uh, I love this server it's so great and yeah the community is what makes it the best because you know you always have these these active players on their grind and dude i think this guy uh freaky frog dude literally he, he is that prestige like th what is that prestige 25 okay yeah so i think that's the, actually the max you can go for right now but i think they're trying to make it so like you can um get to prestige 50 very soon i'm not sure when they're adding that but yeah uh, i think uh, some other players are prestige 25 as well we have uh turn right and uh kings of craft are also uh, prestige 25 as well dude it's crazy dude some of these guys play so much and honestly i give them massive props dude because i just could not do that dude but hey we'll eventually catch them once i you know start making bank other ways which i'll have to figure out i'll have to figure out how i can scam people and do everything i'll have to definitely do some pvp later on in this series and oh oh guys i forgot to mention all like the the new warps and all the new help commands as well they added so much to just the little things that, that, that they do to add to this server it, it just makes it so much better Better, to be honest so as you can see in the slash warps here we got uh, a bunch of new warps from last time dude as you can see we got some parkour warps uh, we got some uh, obviously the donator mine warps that I have and uh, one of the warps is slash um, I think it's slash warp spec and yeah this actually takes us to a PvP arena for PvP events that are hosted on the server so that's really cool what other warps do we have here we said we have the parkour warps obviously uh, which oh, I can only parkour or I, I can only I can only teleport like every 10 seconds but here is the the first parkour warp and they have like two other ones so we have we do parkour events on here a lot as well and uh, what else we got okay so I just did slash warp PvP and apparently they changed this whole system as well so um, I don't know how this works. Do you like, uh, oh, it might not be open actually. I, yeah, I, I think it's only open, um, for like certain PvP events. So I, I don't think, you, yeah, I don't think there's like a, a PvP like arena anymore that you can just go in at any time. And yeah, so I do like that as well. I'm just kind of going through everything just to refresh myself, uh, more than you guys actually, because I, I just haven't played that much at all. So I'm just trying to, to re reacquire my, re what is that word? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to, you know, get the knowledge back of the server. Yeah, I think I've gone through all the warps except slash warp event we have right here. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I don't even know what this is for. Obviously, for an event of some sort, but uh, uh, this is kind of weird. It's kind of a cool thing. I just don't know what it's for. Is it for some like hide and seek thing? It kind of looks like a, a bedroom thing for the hide and seek. I don't. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out in the future. I guess. But yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, I do have access to the hitman, the mastermind, and the underboss mines, which I will be showing off in future videos. So if you don't know what those look like stay tuned for those uh, i'll probably do them in order as well because i just recently got access uh to those mines from uh nexus because i wanted to show them off for you guys so stay tuned for that and i think that's actually uh, all for the warps for now and uh one thing i really do like though is the slash help uh, general command because it literally lists all the commands that you can do on the server and some of them are actually pretty cool like the slash marry command you can like marry people now you can check your playtime slash pt it shows how many hours I've played I've played uh, 19 hours 3 minutes and 28 seconds I've joined 82 times so that's a cool stat to know you have some links here like discord and just some other stuff and uh, oh another thing they actually did add if I go to slash buy uh, they did add loot oh loot boxes I don't even know what these are loot boxes loot box and a legendary crate key man they've added tons of stuff they also have some bundles here we have a name tag bundle a trail bundle and a back to school bundle I wonder what that does I'm, I'm sure all that info is on the website of the server uh, we have some new items as well okay okay the block pickaxe nice all right and the pickaxe bundle so yeah they've added some new stuff to the shops as well another cool feature they added uh, since the revamp is a, uh, a little tip thing that shows up in chat like every five minutes or so so it provides a tip to like new players to help them out uh, it's just like the small things that they added you know to the server just to make it that much better honestly I, I really love the small changes that they make because they really are beneficial and I really do like them another cool thing is if you do slash help 
donator it brings up this whole list of all the donator commands so for like say you have hustler you have access to all these commands all the way up to mastermind which gives you access to these commands plus all the commands in front of that as well so that's really cool I like that and it just provides more help to the newer players on the server and just gives them a, a better uh, playing experience and uh, yeah I think that about does it for all the, uh, the the new stuff since the revamp from what I can think of oh there is one more thing I do want to show off at slash spawn here if I, oh, I can't spell okay there we go let's go ahead and make our way here to uh, right here there's actually a top balances page uh, so yeah so like right here this yeah freaky froggy G Bro, he's at 1.9, is that billion? Dude, that's 1.9 billion dollars. How the cheat, dude, that's literally almost 2 billion, dude. These guys have been grinding. Look at these guys, dude, they, oh my gosh, they have so much money. One thing I really like about this little billboard thing here is if I actually click on this right here, it actually brings up a top balances page so I can view all the top balances on the server. So like, like dude, like these guys have a lot of money, but dude, like these top players, man, they grind it out. Like, dude, this is crazy, and I think I'm, I'm not going to be on here. I only have, uh, is that 1 million that I have? Yeah, I think I only have uh, 1 million right now, but, uh, yeah, dude, like, th this guy has 1.7 million, so if I just, like, if I get, like, 1 million more, I'd be on this top balances page, but I'm just, I'm poor, I, I guess, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, guys, this video is kind of just to, to bring back the, the series that I haven't, you know, uploaded on in a while, so hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, and please make sure to drop ideas down in the comment section for me to do in this series because you know eventually i'm going to run out of ideas uh for stuff to do so please let me know if anything you want to you know if, if you want me to do stuff just let me know and i'll be sure to read every comment so i uh, you know I, I will definitely uh read your comments so just let me know but uh, guys that's going to wrap it up for this episode of plex mc prison i'm not doing too bad i got some some decent stuff here and my, my cell is looking pretty spiffy i'm probably going to want to do a, a, a new like cell design at some point i'll probably do that in between episodes but we'll see so uh, also if you have any cell design layouts that you want me to do like just name some certain blocks i'll try to, to get those i currently have these type of blocks and i have access to all these type of blocks so uh, I'll, I'll think of a, a cool cell design or something and uh, for now guys that's gonna wrap it up i will talk to you all later have a fantastic wonderful beautiful day wherever and whenever you're watching this and guys with that being said peace out